Eh hey bana nimeona hiyo video ya Rigiji akicomplain akisema kwamba Ruto anataka kumaliza, Ruto anataka kuwa watoi wake. Paka nimemhurumia. Uja makaribu alie. Eh? Na undo son of Maumau mwenyewe Maumau original. Mwenye alikuwa anaongea akisema kuna kitu anaweza fanya. Akisema kwamba Raila Raila atarudishwa bondo kwa Wilbur. It's the most unfortunate thing that has ever happened in this country. That you can be so vicious to a man who helped you to be president. And the crime of this man telling you the truth. Don't evict people without compensation, Mr. President. Mr. President, don't overtax people. You are killing them, you are killing their businesses. Don't force a housing program on people. If people do not want these houses, don't force them. My only problem with the president is just being truthful because nobody else can tell him. The framers of the 2010 constitution wanted a deputy president who is elected. As a Baba, who can stand for the people. The charity we are being treated for, too, is get rid of an elected deputy president and appoint a control freak. A fellow you appoint who cannot ask a question, who cannot say anything. And I'm sure if they succeed, he'll be asked to sign an undated resignation letter so that in case he starts asking questions, he can just be told to resign. But the framers of the 2010 constitution were very clear in their mind why they wanted a deputy president who is elected. I'm the only man in the cabinet and in the whole government who can stand up to President William Ruto and tell him, hey brother, this is not right. This a done thing is not good for the country. There's too much corruption, Mr. President. This how things thing is being forced down on the people of Kenya. And they don't like it. Please don't force it down on them. You know, situations where medical equipment that was being supplied by Kenyans to the Ministry of Health now has been given to one single Asian. I said, Mr. President, this is not right. We are killing our business people. Lakini maisha uchenge. So, kama uko kwa maisha mapoa, amu na unatue, amu na unokona do, uswai look down upon watu ingine. Itafika siku yako. But miki tunayizambia rigiji saizi. Asi, asijifanye mwanaume, alie. Alie kabisa hiyo kitu imtoke. Aspolia hiyo kitu imtoke, anaiza pato na depression. Kwa sababu hiyo kitu already imeshanza kumafect negatively. So for the sake of his health, uja maende tu kwa kona maali, alie, 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 paka hiyo kitu imtoke. But kitu naiza sema pia ruto ni kama ako peti. Hmm? Yani gijia metoka tuko ofisi hivi, jamaa mesha afuta wale wafanyikazi, wote walipa kwa hiyo ofisi. But the office of the deputy president is an office. Unacheki, au watu walikuwa wana work for that office and not for Igiji. Sasa mina shindwa, ipe tinesi yote unafuta paka wafanyikazi wa mtu, wenye, wafanyikazi wenye walikuwa pale. Iyo eh, unataka kuprove nini? We already know this guy is the president. Why is he trying to prove to us that he has the powers? Nona, kama leo, Gen Z wameenda to town, vizuri tu, peacefully, kuomboleza wale watu walikufa during the mandamano. Eh hey, jamaa imagine amewatumia makarau wamekuja hapo wamesambaratisha nini so kuna some methods zenye huyu jamaa anatumia zenye zitakuja zi backfire kwake na cheki kuna wale watu hata saa hizi hawakuwa undecided wenye walikuwa wanaona wa support Ruto ama wasim support lakini ukishaanza kuonyesha hivi unanyanyasa watu hiyo support yote huenda inatoka unaona watu wana, wana change mind wanasema eh hey, hata ili wa support msomali mkumbafu kama madwale madwale hivi kushinda wa support mtu kama Ruto na cheki